Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Live with the Refrain, Captain of Dusk. So, um, I am implementing the Bob Ass Pact. Um, I went ahead and used Ryson because Ryson was... Well, uh, well, she I think she was Despair as well for her luck. Uh, but what I did do is I swapped out her... Um, uh, she was using Dream Mad Gloves, which of course reduced your luck by a lot. Um, and I replaced it with Lucas Limit Ribbon, uh, which does 39 luck and give you, gives you a ton of resistances. Um, 39 luck is about the equivalent of what you would get from a lucky coin, so it's definitely a decent thing to equip. Um, and then I had it put her at lucky, which is just before, which is the step below fortunate. Uh, fortunate is the highest um, luck rating you can have, and um, I had to go look that up. Um, so I was short a few point, luck points, so to make up for it, I went ahead and took the flower sword and merged, merged it with a bunch of stuff, and now she's equipped with that, which gives her another 11 luck. So now she is fortunate, and uh, she gets the plus 65%, which I don't think is actually accurate. Um, I moved some of my supporters to give her some extra damage, as well as some healing after combat, because some of these slots were just not really needed. Um... Yeah, you don't need it. Okay, I see why you would take the double cost. Is the, only, the only way to use those two Dunhams is if you have the double cost active. Which I guess makes sense. Anyway, so right now my uh, brigade formation is 62 cost because Baba's Pact is 56 cost right now until it levels up. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attempt one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and save just in case. And uh, we're going to go ahead and dispatch, and we're going to fight the optional optional boss. So, 62 brigade cost, so we only have 38 points to play around with. It's not the end of the world, though. Alright. Fish. So, I mentioned something about a fish uh, earlier. Let's see if we can handle it. Cast the lines at the Marsh Strait. You gotta bite, it feels big. You hooked the great fish Devon. Apparently it was waiting for bait. One, two, three, go! There we go. So that's Devon. Alright. Open with the usuals. Um please attack. Defensive capabilities for defense for five rounds. Let's this see what happens. Formation. Let's go. Ha! Stench. We'll do it together. Memorial gaze. How's That's this? confusion. Oh, she hit herself, but now the confusion wore off. Okay. Our bookie. Roger. Hut. Now it's effective illusion. Hides in the marsh sea. Go to. Yeah. All right. I'm a little nervous about what's going to come out of that. Some pretty heavy hits there. I have you do area heal. I give you reinforcement call, uh, some use item calls. Jitterbug on you. Mana bomb on you. Or a bomb on you. Attack and attack. 
looks right to me. My curse continues. Miss me. Miss me. How's this? Confused. Alright. Uh, looks like the confused got healed, though. Alright. Go ahead and get Craze Carnival active again. We'll be there after you. Let's go. How's this? They'll go too. Me next. Oh. All right. The reason why Ryzen has so much more HP than Koakuma, um, Ryzen is Sun, while uh, Koakuma is set to Moon. So that affects her HP significantly. So I'm gonna have her actually fortify. And uh, Flower Boogie on the back row and hope that works. And quick heal just in case. Roger, here we go! Huh? An opening! You okay? Me next. Start all is healed, that's fine. Heal. Uh, oh yeah, an opening. Does this help? Here I come. Yeah. Okay. Fortify Coven. Naughty. I just wrote its fin. Here I come. Me next. All right, it's flashing red. So we're getting there. Continue to fortify. Uh, what are we looking at? All right, race carnival. An opening. Here we go. Let's go. Took out another fin, dorsal fin this time. Alright. Fortify Coven. You're out of juice. Quick heal. Oh! <laughs> Apparently 322 was enough to finish it off. Alright. We're just gonna gain it. I'm feeling more articulate. Bow to me. Devon's scale. A black piece of paper floats out of Devon's corpse. It appears to be a missing page from the Tractor's Demonstrum. You obtain the black page Campanula. You leave the area. There you go. Proof that you defeated Devon, shaped like a butterfly. And then we got a shield here with 170 defense. Which is... Unfortunately not really much of an upgrade. That's okay. So, yeah, at this point we don't really need to worry about... Um, there might be some nooks and crannies we haven't found uh, stuff at. But other than that, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think there's like one spot that might have something, an item in it, but it's not that big of a deal. So, uh, we'll go ahead and pop the bell. Still getting still. Oh, am I stronger now? Uh, when attack, enemies attack. When HP is full, uh, let's drop blunt resist up. Still get how'd I get so strong? All right, let's save. All right, at this point, uh, unless I go and try to fight another optional boss, um, Devin is pretty much the easiest one. Um, 
as the name kind of of the pages imply, each page is named after the place you get it from. So we got the one from Campanula, so that place is pretty much done, except for when we need to go to that one event later on in the game. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do some witch reporting. Magic Academy, hey, second floor. Did you hear what she did? What? Really? I can't believe it. Hey, look, Velnia's coming. She must be taking a break from scaring away the crows. Pee you. What's that terrible smell? It's Velnia. <laughs> huh? That's Velnia? I thought it was rotten cheese. Do you wash your clothes at all? Huh? But I can only do my laundry at the dorms once a week. Wow! That's disgusting. We wash our clothes every day. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> huh? My manuscript is... Hey, does anyone know where my manuscript went? Hey, does anyone know where my manuscript went? <laughs> <laughs> It was right here. Huh? What? Why are you acting like we had something to do with it? That's not what I meant. I just... <laughs> wow, she's glaring at us. <laughs> What's your problem, Scarecrow? Don't you have crops to protect or something? We haven't seen your manuscript. Maybe you forgot it somewhere? Could you, like... Go away now. Oh, the guard was shouting about a manuscript. He seemed really mad, but we had nothing to do with it, you know. Torn pages lay on the ground beneath a window, stained with mud and cruel insults scrawled in blood red ink. Creep, cripple, kill yourself, scarecrow. Velenia just qu quietly gathers her pages. <laughs> Was that yours? I didn't notice. <laughs> it smelled so bad, I thought it was trash. Sorry! Why don't you say something, stinky, smelly scarecrow? <laughs> huh? Quit making those eyes! A freckle-faced girl walked up to Velenia and shoved her to the ground. Let's go, girls. Who knows what she'll make us do if we stick around. Seriously, creepy bitch. Huh. I hope Baba tears her apart. Velenia's Vilnia uh, face shows no emotion as she quietly dust off, dust off her clothes. At that moment, she hears a voice call out from the third floor of the building near the dormitory. Hey! You there! Hey! Lillian <sighs> ignores the shouting voice and goes about her business. You, it's her. I heard some scary things about her. Consider yourself lucky. My room is right next to hers. Really? That sucks. The girl on the third floor begins to call out again. Hey! Hey! Oh! It's Isara! Look! Look! Over there! That window! It's Isara! Wow! How amazing! Who do you think she's calling to? Vilnia is walking up back to her dorm after class when a voice suddenly calls out to her. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. Vilnia glances at the guard standing in her way, then ignores him and continues walking. Don't ignore me. You got a pretty little face. 
You're coming with me. The guard grabs Vilina's wrist and starts dragging her by force. Hey! What are you doing? Let me go! Just come! I don't bite. Pain in the ass! The guard suddenly punches Vilina in the stomach. Uh, you threw up? Nasty. Let go. Uh, you little bitch! Quit squirming! Uh! The guard punches Vilna in the stomach again, harder this time, and she slowly loses consciousness. <sighs> the brash young guard drags Vilna into the center of a room. Here she is, Isara. Just like I promised. Isara approaches the guard and gives him a soft peck on the cheek. Good work, Klaus. You can leave now. Wait, Klaus? Huh? Is that it? Of course. Is there a problem? <sighs> Fine. But you owe me. Thank you. I'm sorry he punched you. I told him to do that. Well, at least she's honest. Please don't hate him. He's a good guy on the inside. Well, not really. But he's not boring either. Hmm. Billion's eyes grow glow an eerie crimson. <laughs> I suppose that's an understandable reaction. Crimson light fills Isara's eyes brighter and more intense than Vilnia's. What? <laughs> I guess mine is stronger. Winners get prizes, losers get trampled. That's just the way the world works. Now, to claim my prize. Let's see. I want to know your name and the name of the person you lost your virginity to. My name... My name is... Velnia. Hmm. Velnia. It's a good name. I don't dislike it. And I'm... I'm still... A... Virgin. Those eyes... <laughs> Surprised? What do you think? You have the power too. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Hey, calm down. I allowed you to enjoy that humiliating experience. Really, you should be thanking me. You can see the flow of mana, and by toying with it, you can glamour others into doing your bidding. Am I right? It's not a unique power for any witch that can control mana, but it shouldn't be used haphazardly, either. You used it at school, didn't you? Only because they made fun of my leg. I don't just use it on anyone. You're a fool, Velnia. No wonder they're afraid of you. Your leg is not the reason they bully you. Hey, where are you going? Hold on a second. I have some cake prepared by a patissier from the capital. Let's enjoy it together. Yeah, because your stomach's empty by now. I'll pass. How about some tea? Real imported tea, not that mixed stuff. I'll pass. I may not look like it, but I'm an avid reader. Let me tell you an interesting story. I'll pass. Wait! Just leave me alone! Let's be friends. Vilna stops and turns around. <laughs> I'm just kidding! Did you think I was serious? <laughs> but you are fascinating, and I just love fascinating people. I hate you! Leave me the hell alone! I heard that crippled girl was invited to have tea with Isara! What? 
But oh, that's not fair. I wish I could meet her someday. I heard she's too ill to leave her room, so unfortunately, tea time is the only time you can meet her. Rumor has it she's got a thing going on with some older guy. What? Really? Other girls have seen him leaving her room. Isn't that bad? Oh, if Baba finds out... She'll be fine. Isara is the first witch prodigy in Ruler's history. I'm sure she gets special treatment from Baba Yaga. Oh, Isara is so cool. I wish I could be her. Back at the dormitory. Velnia! Hey, Velnia! Are you asleep? Y you! What are you doing here? What if Baba finds out? Sarah pushes Velnia down on, the, on her bed and straddles her. Nothing's going to happen if she finds out. Not to me, at least. I assume you've heard all the rumors about me? Yeah, but I thought they were just that. Rumors. Well, they're all true. That's why it's in your best interest to pledge loyalty to me. If you become my loyal servant, no one will ever bully you again. Why, you'll be envied by everyone. Well, you probably don't care about that, but I can promise you'll be freed from your pointless torment. Hey, your voice is too... <laughs> Worried about your roommate? I told her to leave after she let me in. She's probably asleep in another room. I didn't even need to use my powers. It was no trouble at all. Okay. Can I at least change my clothes? Oh, of course. Look the other way! What? But we're both girls. If you insist. Sarah releases Vilga and gets out of her bed, then turns around to face the wall. Hey, let me make one thing clear. If you try to use your glamour to take advantage of me, it won't work. I wouldn't do that. Vilga grabs a nearby vase and throws it straight at Isara's head. <laughs> Sarah falls to the floor. Your servant! I'm free! No matter how hard you try, you will never control me! <laughs> Sarah staggers back to her feet. <laughs> You're exactly the person I thought you would be. Velnia, I like you very much now. I really like you. Your eyes are really creepy. Huh? But first, I need you to apologize for what you just did. You're the first to ever strike me like that. Apologize? Are you serious? I'll never, ever apologize to you. Uh, I Isara, you're bleeding. Blood. <laughs> Sorry, I missed the text because I was trying to read, but the cat jumped in front of me. Something about blood trickling down her forehead. Old church ruins. There you are, Velnia. <laughs> You're black and blue all over. Were you fighting with Funa again? Maybe. Word travels fast, you know. I must say, I'm surprised you actually bloodied her. Funa serves Baba herself, so if you do it again, Baba will probably just kill you. As far as I'm concerned, we're both already dead. Hmm, whatever. I envy you. Even with my prosthetic leg? It may be a prosthetic, but you're still alive. You know I have strong magic, Velnia. 
And if I use it to manipulate mana, the strain it puts on my body could kill me. Well, that might be an exaggeration, but I will live longer if I don't use magic. The first time we talked, I got a fever that wouldn't go down for a couple days. <sighs> you know, I hear if you get bad grades on the next exam, you get spanked with a rod. Some girls got spanked so bad they started bleeding. I know you're bad at written exams, so you'd better prepare yourself. I don't care. I don't want to be sold into slavery. But if you have to be sold, it's better to be sold somewhere nice, right? Madam Junior? Please! Madam Junior? Huh? That voice... Madam Junior! Madam Junior! Please wake up! <laughs> Junior, you look like you were having a bad dream. Are you feeling okay? I know Madam Baba came, but you gotta stay strong. You gotta. I know you can do it. Oh, I made potato porridge. You'll feel better after you eat some. She hates potatoes. A dream. Huh. I was dreaming, Luca. An old dream. That's right. I'm still here for a reason. So what if Baba knows? I can't stay depressed forever. Isn't that right, Isara? Who do you think I am, Luca? Now, let's get to work. Just two keys remain, and we've only just begun. So, so far, there supposedly there are three keys. Uh, we the first one we found was a fake uh, that got pretty much ruined by the moonlight. The other one we found got taken by Madame Baba Yaga, and we actually already have a, a, the next key, but it's going to take a while for that to catch up. Judging from Tracti's progress thus far, the path ahead shouldn't be much longer. I'll start getting everything lined up. Luca, Tracti, begin preparations for another exploration. We'll have our chance to strike. Just you wait, Baba Yaga. Alright, we'll keep on going. Another all-nighter, Madam Junior? That's bad for your health. Please go to bed. Please. Do you want me to turn you into a mouse and feed you rotten cheese? Then shut up. Ah, I don't want to eat rotten cheese. No. -uh. Luca leapt out of, of the caravan, clutching her shopping bag. Dronya begins reading the Tractatus the Monstrum. Hmm. So, others know about the keys. Hmm. I see. But it seems like I'll find the second key soon enough. Luca? <clears throat> no, the craftsman was supposed to come over today. Please, come in. Sorry to drop in like this. You're not the craftsman. You must be the woman from the bakery. Luca has told me much about you. What is your name again? Name's Maylee. Guess this is the first time you and me have spoken, huh? So, how may I help you? If you're here to see Luca, she's out at the moment. Unless this is about the puppet show. Nah, I ain't interested in puppets. I just wanted to ask you for a favor, seeing as how you're a witch and all. A witch, you say? I'm not sure what you're... 
I'm itching to settle down, but I got no luck with the fellas. Is it my face? Go on, you can be honest with me. I'm just a traveling puppeteer. I'm not really qualified to answer that question. Oh, I get it. It's okay, your secret's safe with me. I won't tell no one you're a witch. At this rate, everyone's gonna know she's a witch. Oh yeah, and I got something for you. Bread fresh from the oven this morning. Go ahead, help yourself. No, thank you. I'm quite all right. You sure? Not to brag, but... Um, um, it's really good. Mm, mm. Cat, get off desk. Can't be text. Maylene kept talking as she stuffed her face with bread. Mm, I'll leave the rest of the bread here so you can mm, share it with Luca later. Mm, mm, mm. Uh. Mm, so anyway, there's this guy I'm really into. Um, but he don't take me seriously. Can't imagine why, though. <sighs> this again? Don't the women in this town have more important things to worry about than men? Anyway... I was thinking maybe you could make a potion for me or something. Excuse me, I have an appointment with a client. Please, come in. Excuse us! We got that stuff you wanted! Uh, I mean, special delivery for Miss Tronia! Mm. Excellent, thank you. Uh, please set them back there. Oh, oh! Nanto! Oh, f fancy meeting you here. Uh. Hmm? Do you want something from me? Hmm. Huh? Hey. Nanto takes Jonia's hand and gives her an impossibly tiny ring as if it were meant for a doll's hand rather than a human's. What's this? My boss made you a gift. Your birthday was the other day, right? But... Oh. Thanks for choosing Nymto's Craftworks! Hmm? Yo, boss! Don't just stand there! We gotta go! I know Julia's pretty and all, but it's rude to stare! Uh -oh. Nymto bonks Fritz on the head. Sorry about that. Now then, I don't know what powers you think I have, but I'm not a witch. You're a witch, ain't ya? No, I'm not. Now... No, I seen it. I seen you make stuff in that kooky pot of yours. And that stuff Nimto delivered just now. That's all materials for your magic, ain't it? Don't try to pull a fast one on me. I know you're a witch. What with your pretty face and big boobies, I bet you use your magic to gussy yourself up and trick me. And you want the same advantage for yourself, yes? Then, by all means. Jarnia grabs a nearby parcel of flour and offers it to Melee. Are you mocking me? I'm a baker. I know flour when I see it. His eyes shine in eerie crimson. No, Maylee. This is magic love powder. Use it as you see fit. Y yes. Well, I'll be. How amazing! Amazing! Magic love powder? With this, I can.
The mom immediately walks out of sight. Dronya teeters and almost falls uh, to the floor. What the... I just suddenly lost my strength. And I feel... so tired. Exhausted, even. Is this because I pulled an all-nighter? Or is it because I used my glamour? What's going on? All right. So, Melee probably has a thing for Nemto. Unfortunately, Nemto has a thing for Madame Dronia. And obviously, conflict arises. All right, I think we have enough time to do one more. So, we just need to quickly deliver these magic items to the governor? Yep, that's right. It's called running errands. Huh? Huh? Is something wrong with the shepherd? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Huh? Some witch. She ain't nothing but a damn fraud. Sensing that things are about to get heated, Newt scurries away as Maylee makes her approach. Hey, kid! This love powder that woman of yours gave me is just flour! She tricked me, and I went and made a fool out of myself all cause of her! Luca. Oh, what happened to your eye? Did you fall? Are you okay? Mm. <gasps> oh, Fritz! You ran away. Uh, Luca? The governor? Oh, that's right! We gotta go there and then get groceries! Eggs are on sale today! I will summon my master. Please wait here. Same name. I will summon my master. Oh, he already spoke. Sorry. I was distracted by reading the name again. I heard around town that the governor lived in the back of this shop. At that moment, a large spider quietly descends from the ceiling. Oh? Teeny? What are you doing here? Well, this is awkward. I hope you can keep my presence here a secret. I see what's going on. Thank you for waiting. Ah, Madam Dronia's apprentice. And who might you be? Yes, I'm Madam Dronia's, um, uh, enemy? My apprentice. Uh, oh. Uh. Anyway, here, Madam Dronia told me to give these to you. Look at hands over the various magical magical items to the acting governor. Oh, she finally managed to claim some new spoils. I will gladly take these off your hands. By the way, I heard an interesting rumor. Perhaps you could explain it and help me understand it better. A rumor? Well, I fear Madame Dronia is starting to earn a negative reputation among some of the townsfolk. Can't imagine why. Some have begun to call her a witch. Such rumors would be bad for everyone. You two in particular. Bad rumors about Dronia, huh? To be fair, they started it. Alright. Well, we'll go ahead and call this a video. Um, we got many more to go through. And, uh... As always, uh... I'm the Depressed Dealer. This was Live with the Refrain, Covenant of Dusk. See you guys later.